What is going on everybody, it is the Walkthrough King, and here we have a complete guide on getting all of the launch Season 4 intel for Outbreak and Cold War Zombies. Not only will we show off all of the locations on how to get all of this intel, but we will also show and play all of the intel at the end of this video as well. So if you just want to see all of that, you could skip right ahead to that. Timestamps will be in the description. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely recommend subscribing and joining this amazing community, as well as a like on this video would be appreciated. So let's get right into this. To start for all of the Dark Aether intel, except for the artifacts, you are going to have to obtain this by doing trials and wait until you get an intel trial. You will know it's an intel trial if you get a folder on the screen when you are going up to it to do a trial. So you're just going to keep repeating doing intel trials and getting that intel until you have everything for the dark ether except for the artifacts. We'll show you how to get those later in this video. And that is how you get all of that. I believe there is a limit to how many intel trials you can get per game without having to completely restart. So if they stop showing up for you, then you're going to have to restart and try again in another game. The next thing we're going to go over real quickly is the radio transmissions. Going up on the screen right now is the location of all three different factions radio transmission locations for each map. It's going to go through each one Alpine, Duga, Golova, Ruka, Sanatorium, and Zoo. Basically for these, once each game you'll be able to go and get a radio transmission from each faction. So just check whatever map you are on, check with this guide here, and go and listen to one radio transmission for each faction per game. Moving on for collecting the documents for all of the factions, you're going to basically get a bunch of special zombie kills and outbreak and they have a chance to drop one. I believe you can get one to two per game, so after you do get one or two, then I would end up restarting to try and get more. You'll be able to get all of the documents except for two documents, and we're going to go over how you get those in just a moment. But once again, if you want all of the documents, all you have to do is just get special zombie kills and they have the chance to drop it. Moving on, the remaining two documents can be obtained from doing the easter egg you have to do the second easter egg not the first outbreak easter egg i do already have a guide up for the second easter egg on my channel link in the description for that along with getting those remaining two documents you'll get a couple of audio logs that you need so if you do want to get everything make sure you complete the easter egg as well and collect all of the intel along the way on the easter egg so let's get right into the portion of the guide where you have to go to specific places and pick things up at. All of the intel that you can actually pick up in a specific spot is all located on the map zoo. Starting out with the two dark ether artifacts, the first one can be found here all the way at the north side of the map in this building. The second dark ether artifact can be found here underneath this bridge. Moving on for Maxa, she has three audio logs. The first one can be found here. The second one can be found all the way at the south side of the map here. And the third audio log can be found over here at the top right in this building on the shelf. Moving on to Omega, they have two artifacts and two audio logs. The first one can be found here. The second one can be found all the way at the south side of the map here. The first audio log of theirs can be found just nearby to that last one over here. And the second audio log is actually pretty close by as well over here. Moving on to Requiem, there are two artifacts and two audio logs that we can find. The first artifact is all the way on the left side of the map here. The second artifact can be found at the top right side of the map over here. And for the first audio log, it can be found over here. And the second and final audio log could be found here. Once you have gone and collected all of that, as well as completed the easter egg, you will have completed all of the intel that we have for Season 4 so far. More will be added with the Season 4 Reloaded update later on in the season, and we'll have another guide up for that as well. Let me know what you think of the story so far. The story is actually getting really interesting with this new intel that we got. And as promised, we are going to play through all of the intel for the remainder of this video. Timestamps again in the description if you want to skip around. I hope this guide helped you guys out. This has been the Walkthrough King, and we'll see you guys at the next video. Peace! Peace.
Well, people, we've got a bit of a clusterfuck on our hands, don't we? Our own strike team running an off-the-books operation cooked up by a Soviet officer and someone on house arrest? Yeah, the director's gonna love that. <clears throat> Agent Maxis is not under arrest, per se. Under observation, perhaps. So no one observed her straying outside the chain of command. Look, maybe it wasn't sanctioned, but was it really wrong of her to dump those warheads in the sea? She might have saved the East Coast from becoming one big outbreak zone. It wasn't her call, Gray. She should have come to me first. However good her intentions, nobody hijacks my troops. Besides, I have serious doubts that those warheads were really meant for use against us. Carver, this isn't more of your Dark Ether Overlord talk, is it? Do I walk into your lab and slap a test tube out of your hand, Strauss? No. Show me the same respect. I think Omega recognizes the real danger here, and so should we. So, if those missiles were meant to stop something worse than what we've already seen, and we just eliminated them, did we just leave the world more vulnerable? Meeting's over, people. I don't know how this will all shake out, but it wasn't our best day by a long shot. Ray, I'd like a word alone. Weaver, I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. Your lack of military experience is no excuse for what you did. You knew better, and you did it anyway. I just wanted to let her talk to the team. I didn't know what she was gonna... One thing you're not is stupid. But I also don't think you're a traitor. Which is why I'm taking the heat on this one. No one upstairs is aware of your role in Sam's little side operation. And that's how it'll stay. As long as you never fucking cross me again. Understood? Yes. How is she anyway? Agent Maxis is still showing high levels of Ethereum contamination in her bloodstream. But the way it's affecting her is different than any other subject I've observed. Meaning? It's not just her eyes. There are things happening on a cellular level I can't quantify yet. You keep your notes in our central database, yes? That would explain the new orders. The director wants to run more specialized tests on Maxis. If you're asked to cooperate, you do as instructed. Are we clear? Yes, sir. And Gray? Remember, if it's on the mainframe, everyone above my pay grade can access it. If there's something you want to tell me, you tell me in person. I promise, Weaver. I won't keep anything else from you. I'm glad we understand each other. Dismissed. Welcome back to the Ural Mountains. It's been a few weeks, but now that you've been cleared to return to active duty, I expect you to be on your best behavior. You got off lightly. After what you did in Ruka last month, you should be facing a court-martial. 
you can thank the director for intervening and sparing you that fate. The incident has been expunged from your record. It never happened. As far as the CIA is concerned, the missile launch was a mechanical failure. You were never there. And in case I haven't already made myself clear, you acted without oversight. You participated in an operation without the approval of anyone at Requiem. That cannot happen. Ever again. You do not answer to Maxis. You answer to me. If she contacts you through back channel, you report that to me. She's not one of us. She's not Requiem. Now, that being said, your actions had a ripple effect through Omega. Ravenoff contacted me. He's in touch with scientists who want to defect. We're working on a plan to extract them. You are making an impact in this fight. You just have to do it the right way. Well, look at you. Requiem strike team back in action. I imagine that must feel nice. So, about what happened with Sam. I'm not sure if you heard about my role in that whole business. Earned myself a bit of a slap on the wrist for that one. Not to worry, everything's fine. Or so I've been told. Just imagine if those missiles had detonated. The effects of Ethereum on a populace of that size, the outcome would have been grim. It's tricky to nail down. Ethereum. From our tests at the DASA stations, the only pattern we've established is that there is no pattern. The effects of Ethereum exposure vary greatly between subjects. Yes, many suffer from advanced necrosis infection, the undead, but there are others whose side effects appear strictly cerebral. Hallucinations, paranoia, amnesia. Then there's Maxis. Not sure what to make of her. No necrosis. Only side effect appears to be the amnesia, but there's more going on there. Her Ethereum concentration? Off the scale. Highest of seen. And normally a subject with a fraction of that exposure would be fully transformed, but she seems unaffected. So far. Now, I'm not saying she's dangerous. We just don't know what she is. I probably shouldn't tell you this. But something happened. I think. It's not clear. When she asked me for my access codes, I swear I saw her diary move across the desk. By itself. Now, I wasn't looking directly at it. I just finished an 18-hour day. I was exhausted. I mean... I probably just imagined it. Right? November 30, 1984. It has been just over two weeks since the uh, unfortunate disaster involving Omega's reality inversion warheads. The Bear's chaos follows Dr. Peck wherever he goes. I have been told Peck's removal is not viable. He is our premier expert on Ethereum. And there is no time to find and educate a suitable replacement. Another unfortunate disaster. Peck hoped the missiles could be recovered, but, as I suspected, our salvage efforts have proven futile. What remains of the warheads belongs to the ocean now. 
We must begin again. We cannot afford another setback at the hands of Requiem. I had hoped to deal with them after Operatia Inversia, but I can see now they require my immediate and undivided attention. If there is any consolation, it seems Requiem remains in the dark about our agenda. They believe the inversion warheads were to destroy the West. Little do they realize a greater threat looms in the dark ether. The entity must be contained. Twenty first of November, nineteen eighty four, personal log. My father visited me once again. Our day of victory approaches. His triumphant return. His righteous revenge. The world is not prepared for what we shall unleash. He could not tell me when. Only that it would be soon. After so many years. Decades. It's hard not to feel excitement. Ever since I was a little girl, I have dreamt of this moment. I will never forget when his ghost first appeared to me. I was five, maybe six. At first I was terrified, but how else is a child to react? But when he called me by my real name, I knew it was him. He has guided me ever since. If all goes according to plan, not only will I have completed his mission, but he will be free. No longer trapped in that dark, evil place. I can save him. I have to. The time is soon. Our day of victory approaches. East, West, Requiem, Omega, even Kravchenko. They have no idea what is coming for them. Hello? Scheiße. Ravenov, it is Dr. Hugo Jaeger. I hope either you or Requiem find this recording. Most of us survived the crash. We're headed to Monument Island. I hope we'll be safe from Omega. Before you ask, yeah, that is on the other side of the phase, but the scientists are in this. They have created something incredible. A device that will allow us to travel through the phase without dying. Or worse. They only have one prototype, but they are assembling another from spare parts so you can follow us. Unfortunately, we are missing a component. An ethereal orb. Find one and bring it to the bridge. There will be a slightly modified recon rover waiting for you. Please hurry. Omega shot us down. They will not leave the job unfinished. Ravenov! Requiem! Jäger here. If you are hearing this, you must have found the rover and completed the device. They call it an Ethereum Neutralizer. It does what it says on the tin. It neutralizes the cerium particles in the air, pacifying a radius around the device by boosting power from the orb's primordial energy. Allowing safe passage through the phase is just one of the many potential applications for this device. This improvised device should hold a charge long enough to traverse the phase. Once you are through, make your way to the monument. We will be on the roof. We eagerly await your arrival. Too long have we been silent about Omega's atrocities. There is much for us to discuss. Soon, we will change the world. Hello, Requiem. So glad you could make it. Enjoying my handiwork? Do not worry, they did not go quietly. Dr. Zarkova, she put up quite the struggle. It was almost honorable. But there is no honor in betraying Omega. It is a despicable act of cowardice. When Kravchenko learned of the plot to defect, I could not volunteer fast enough. Once I infiltrated their group, the Colonel gave me two tasks. One, 
kills the traitors. Easy enough. Nothing a hex or a guest can could not solve. But the second, to lure Requiem's so-called elite strike team into a trap. That added a complication. But fortunately, crushing helicopters is easy once you've poisoned the pilot. As for the Ethereum neutralizer, rest assured, it will be well taken care of in Omega's hands. Soon we will change the world, Requiem. Auf Wiedersehen. There is nothing yet, Colonel. Even if he is still in Russia, which I doubt, he has gone to ground. A ghost. And a burn notice. Distributed. There is nowhere in the Eastern Bloc he can run to. Any of his remaining allies have been made aware of his transgressions. Transgressions? You make it sound like he kicked your dog. The fucking traitor. How did this slip by you? I am searching for answers myself. I had known the Capitan for many years. His record would suggest he was incapable of such betrayal. He was the perfect soldier. A true Soviet. A fucking coward. This is the last thing we need. The Kremlin is asking questions. Gorif, I am not accustomed to having to explain myself. I am not accustomed to being spied on. Chebrikov's rats are everywhere, waiting to scurry back and report our latest failure. Outpost 25, Ruka. Omega is gaining a reputation. And now, there are rumors of dissent within our own ranks. One more incident, and we are finished. No. If you are worried of mutiny, it will be snuffed out, Colonel. You have my word, like I did with finding the mole. As it is. I already have someone for that job. You must continue your work with Peck. Those warheads were our best chance of containing the Entity. <sighs> the Entity... So far, I have had no luck in finding such a thing. We have interviewed over a hundred Ethernauts, and while there is no shortage of strange encounters with outlandish creatures in the Dark Ether, None can recall anything that matches your description of this entity. Perhaps your source in Requiem is acting on incomplete information. My source is not to be questioned, nor challenged. The threat is real. This is not a discussion. Find it before it finds us. There is the question, Griff, of what is to be done with Peck. This is twice now his projects ended in failure. Omega's reputation will not survive a third. <laughs> you know my feelings on this matter. I would love nothing more than for our one-eyed cowboy to be strung up in the gulag. <laughs> However... I cannot say the failure at Ruka lies with him. Whether he knows it or not, Peck has been under 24-hour surveillance. I can safely say he was not the one to leak the documents to Ravenov and Requiem. These fucking leaks. Do I look like a fucking plumber to you, Gorif? Peck has, has not outlived his usefulness. He is still our most knowledgeable scientist on Ethereum. In that regard, he has no equal. More importantly, I believe he could help find this entity of yours. I'm listening. As you know, Peck has been talking to that computer. Apparently he has built something of a rapport with his creator. Perhaps he is familiar with your creature. 
What? Why am I only hearing of this now? How long has this been going on? Uh, several months, Colonel. Valentina assured me she wrote a report on the matter and delivered it to you personally. Tell Peck to keep talking to his friend. Have him ask about the entity. I will speak to Valentina myself. Sam, did you... Look, I could get myself in so much trouble. Hey, doggy. Did you do what I asked? Elizabeth, I'm not sure if I can, honestly. You know we're on the brink of war, Elizabeth. Hey, hey, okay. A great war. I know, I know. But being here at Requiem, it's a big opportunity for me. I don't want to throw away my career, my life. This is the only way. If, if I give you access to my comms protocols, it could be the biggest mistake I've ever made. Do you know what it's like to be cut off from the outside world? To have no way to see or even communicate with the people you care about? I'm a long way from home, Sam. This was a big move for me, coming here, doing all of this. If I give you my console key, I could find myself back in Bristol before you can say Jack Robinson. Sorry, old saying. I'm not sure how old. My mum, Liz, used to say it. It means things happened very quickly. It means... I don't want to get in trouble with Weaver. Things don't always happen quickly. Sometimes they take a long time. Sometimes too long. Weaver knows that. Well, getting sent back home is probably the most optimistic outcome. I could find myself facing charges and in prison, military prison. But you will do it. Right, Lizzie? I'm... I'm not sure, Sam. I'm really not. If you do what I ask, maybe you could... <sighs> That's a dog some more. What have you done? Everything's okay, girl. Everything's okay. No, Sam. Everything is not okay. Who the hell? Do you think you are? You know me, Weaver. I thought I did. But I never thought you would do something like this. How dare you contact the team to drag them into whatever scheme you and Ravenoff thought was important. Weaver. And involving poor Dr. Gray in your misguided bullshit. It was the right thing to do. It was the only way. No, Sam. The right thing to do would have been to come to me. To let me do my job. He did your job to keep me muzzled like a dog. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that. This is why we have a problem, Sam. I was trying to do the right thing. I told you what the right thing to do was. Look after the dog. That's it. You can find a quarters. 
No more walks. No. Someone else will take care of that. No. Leave her. Now, I have to try to straighten all this out with the director. What's... what's happening? Garcia Anderson. Secure her. Hey! Take your hands off me! Leave her! Call them off! You're to undergo some additional testing. Don't make this any harder than it already is. Why are you doing this? I'm not. Orders from the director. It's okay, girl. I'll look after you. about to be rewarded. Soon, you will reveal yourself. A threat so close, they never saw it coming. How long have we awaited this day? How many times have you proven yourself to them? made them value and respect you. The better to plunge your blade in their backs. Gather your things. Bid farewell to this false life you lead. Go to Berlin. Everything is in place. We Hello, my friend. I have been wanting to speak with you again. We have so much to do, and we are running out of time. Uh, yeah, about that. My colleagues are starting to ask questions. I think they might know about you. They've definitely seen me on this computer, and they're wondering what I'm up to. I see. This may take some finesse, Dr. Peck. But you must somehow reassure them you are not up to anything they would not approve of. Easier said than done. Gorev and Valentino watch me like hawks, just waiting for me to screw up. I cannot
not understand your genius, Peck. They also do not know your inner pain. Not like I do. Look, if you help me round up more of those Tempest guys, I could make new inversion warheads. Get back in the Colonel's good graces. Ah, no, no, no. Yet, my friend. That seemed like a good plan when we first conceived it. But now, I would not set you up to fail yet again. Besides, I have a better idea. Do tell. I am beginning construction of a new device. I will spare you the details until I know it can work. But it is exactly the sort of weapon your colonel is looking for. Okay. When will you know if this new gizmo is viable? Soon, my friend. Just keep checking in with me. I am counting on your help. Hello, Zykov. You there? It's me, Peck. Yes, my friend. I am here. Where else would I go? So, my co-workers definitely know I'm in contact with you. They even know your name. And they did not... discipline you? No. They see you as a potential gold mine of Dark Ether intel, and they don't want to punish the one guy you'll talk to. In fact, Gorev told me to ask about the entity you say is in charge over there. It's real, right? It is an existential threat to all of you, my friend. It is the reason I am building my new device. And that's... what? A weapon? It is something we will need when the real invasion comes. But tell your people I will reveal more details only if you help me come home. You got it. They might want to debrief you for days, but if you deliver on intelligence and firepower, they'll make you a hero of the Soviet Union. <laughs> they can keep their medals. Just help me come home. Okay. Let me know when your device is ready. We'll work on how best to repatriate you. Over and out. <laughs>